Hello folks, before we do our next painting I'm going to just run through the drawing again like in, in the last one um, just to help you map out your, your drawing a bit more accurately uh, the painting, so that's uh, that's the composition there and it's a snow scene with this lady and she's walking through the scene with the, with the two dogs um, and for more detail I'm going to use that figure and that, that's going to be the bigger dog in that position and that's sort of a, a position for, for that dog there. Okay, so I'll just run through how I would start. I'm going to use a felt tip then you can see it a bit more clearly. And looking at the lady, she's got very, very simple shapes. Uh, she's got this big winter jacket on which helps. So if I, if I just look at very gentle marks to start off with, just to get the proportions of uh, of this lady, and the head there uh, again, just slightly, slightly set forward, and the dynamics of the pose. So she's walking along and striding out with, and the back legs that sort of direction, and the front leg. You can just see a bit of it there. So from there, then I would start. Um, add in a bit more detail, just working out where the hood goes. I just see a bit of a face there, and so the arm's slightly bent. So if you imagine there's an elbow point there, and then that forearm's just slightly going away from you there. And then you've got the glove on the end. And we can just see she's got a big warm cardigan underneath, so I'll just draw that in. There we go. And then, because of the position of her leg, so the, the knee's coming forward, it's straight, the leg, but there's tension on the front of the welly, so that, that makes the back of the welly just stick out a bit like that. There we go, and then that one. So I've got that welly just kicking out a little bit at the front, and gentler mark there because we won't we won't really see the feet because she's walking in snow so i make the marks a bit bolder just so you can see it a bit clearer there and that'll do the shadow just being cast across the snow there like that Good. And then if we look at the first dog, so I'm going to put that one in this position and it's sort of positioning it first. So where do I want it? So I could say sort of on that level, a little bit away from, from the lady there. So in that sort of area. And then again, I'd look at uh, dynamics. So there's this floor expectancy of whether the owner's going to throw the ball so that's just the dynamics of, of the pause really from there I could just add some more detail so we've got his little rib cage there Concentrating out now on this. Go. 
God. And with, with watercolour drawings, you don't really want to do too much to the drawing. Just get the basics and the, the gesture, really. Um, some some watercolour artists do very minimal detail, and I think mine's a little bit of a midway of, of recognisable sort of anatomy and, and and then keeping it in a sort of sketchiness to it. So we're going to look at the position of the other one now. So if I just, again, use an imaginary guideline, imagine it's about, about there. Now this one, something like that pose, I think. So if I remember that sort of burring in mind the size, so it's further away. So I want to make sure it doesn't look too close by making it too big. And then the, the dogs have got a cast shadow as well, so darker where the, the paws meet the ground. That would be it. So that's the, the sort of moving elements, the living things that are moving through the painting and hopefully that gives you a little pointer of how to position them and how to, to get the gesture and the dynamics of the pauses. And then and for the next video, I'll do the actual painting of it, which uh, should be fun.